Hi everybody, it's me Camila Rose and guess what? It's February! We've already done our February 1st through the 7th and now it's time for us to finish out the rest of this month. So grab yourself something yummy to drink. Maybe go light a nice candle to create some atmosphere and let's figure out what's going to be coming for us for the rest of this month. I'm going to be using my Tarot Illuminate. I believe I used this one last month as well, but it's one of my favorite. It's very opulent. I love all the gilding. I love all of the foil. I just think that it's beautiful. So let us get these cards together. Now, this is going to be the reading for February the 8th through the 14th. So one of the lovely things about February is that as it's 28 days long, when it's not a leap year, that gives us a really nice even since we have seven days a week for us to go through. So I'm, oh, <laughs> I'm very excited about that and I love that. And let's see what the cards have for us today. How was your month? How was January? January seemed to be such an interesting time for so many people. We had a lot going on. I saw a tweet on Twitter that was talking about three, four Wednesdays in January and it covered all of the madness going on in January that we experienced from the folks storming the Capitol to this whole GameStop, the retailers against the hedge fund folks. Oh, 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 we got our first card. Ooh, Prince of Pentacles. So it seems that this energy is kind of keeping up a bit. It is sticking with us in that we are going to have some quick energy around finances around the material world. I know Mercury retrograde is coming up. I know that there is just a lot of movement happening. It is Aquarius season. So this is going to be probably a lot of things related to humanity, yes, but think it's social. Think airy aspects. And so how will we have airy aspects? So things like social media, things like technology and computers, things like um, philosophy, theories, things of that nature, how will they be impacted by movement around the material realm? Let's see what's the best way to kind of have this. Oh, actually, let's bring it. No, we'll leave it down there. We'll leave it down there. Yes. <laughs> okay, I have my monitor over there. So if you see me looking over in that direction, that's where I'm looking. So what's our next card? Oh, oh, Queen of Swords. I figured it was going to come pretty quickly. So with Queen of Swords, we have... Some, well, we talked about this air energy. We talked about Aquarius. And now we are needing to make these moves, but we need to be very clear, direct, and intentional in how we do so and in how we express ourselves. We need to do so in a way where perhaps we don't know as much about a topic as we should. So perhaps we need to be the person who is sitting at the feet of the Queen of Swords, who is learning and taking in information or perhaps we know more about a subject and we need to be the one who is relaying, the, relaying this information or utilizing it or sharing it with others. Let's see who else we get for this week. Seems all good so far. Ooh, the sun, yay! So we just had, as of when I'm filming this, we just had the full moon in Leo. Leo energy is rampant at this time because it is Aquarius season, it is the air season, and Leo is the opposite sign of Aquarius, which means that Leo embodies some of the energy that's needed to address any of the shadows of Aquarius. That's the cat, ignore him. And shadows of Aquarius can be where one loses themselves in attempting to wanting to help everyone else so they shut down emotionally they shut down so that they're very 
calculating in what they do, whereas Leos are very warm, they're very embracing, and they are very much so focused on the self. <laughs> they are the sun and everything revolves around them. So finding a balance between those two energies is really important at times. We do need to be more calculating. We need to be more precise. We need to perhaps be just a little bit more focused on the logical side of things. And other times we need to be a little bit more fun in the sun, using our charm, using our wit, combining these two things together makes a very powerful and compelling person. So we also might want to be mindful of perhaps a little bit of manipulation from individuals who are quite smart, who are quite charming, and who are able to put those two things together in order to benefit themselves. Now, will you be the person who's utilizing this energy or will you have others around you who are doing so? And perhaps trying to convince you to buy things or to invest in a company or to invest in some type of venture. Mindfulness. Ace of Swords, we're going to have some new thoughts around things. This is going to change our perspective in how we view the world, how we view ourselves, and how we view what we do with the material realm. I'm also hoping that maybe there'll be some environmental growth around this area in the case of us being mindful of how we engage with the environment, with what consumption and materialism means. Even looking behind me, you can see a shelf full of books, tarot card decks, all types of things, and just having an understanding of what the consumption of these things does to the world around us and what it does to ourselves, how we frame ourselves and know ourselves by the thoughts that we have, by the perspectives that we have, and how we share and voice and communicate those to others, and then how that can lead us to new ways of engaging with our world and being comfortable in our bodies. Let's get an outcome card for the week. I enjoy February quite a bit. It's one of my favorite months. Um, I would say, ooh. oh, mm, two of wands. Two of Wands. This leads us with a choice. Two of Wands, uh, fire energy, depending on which perspective you take. I always say if it's something where there's a choice to follow your heart when a Wands card comes up, but not even just your heart, but more so what brings you passion and what makes you feel alive. Because Wands are all about being alive and energy and movement and growth in that nature. And so, if there's a choice that really sparks your creativity and just really makes you feel passionate about whatever the topic is, that's the route to take. Now, there might be a little back and forth between your heart and your mind as you're trying to weigh these things out. So take your time, move slowly. There isn't Prince card kind of equals things are moving quickly. Swords, air can move very quickly, but it can also be dead still. And wands and the sun energy also indicates that things might be moving kind of quickly, that there might need to be some choices that are made that are very fast. And you might not have as much time to think about it or contemplate or figure out which route you'd like to take as much as you would like to. So again, tapping in, getting to know that self and focusing on kind of what you're long-term goals are, which are not here, but we should always have that framed because sustainability is a inherent part of pentacle energy. What is sustainable? What can you build, create, and craft that will last beyond just the moment that you made it? So keep that in mind while you're going through this process, while you're having these experiences, while you're getting all of this beautiful attention paid to the self and paid to what's going on with yourself and knowing thyself. And once you're able to do that, this will give you that, that solid foundation through which to make these choices that are coming up for you, particularly towards the end of the week. Oof. That's everything. I'll see you later. Have a great week and go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. I always forget this. I don't even know how I forget this, but go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what's going on. Let me know if you're enjoying the videos and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.